how I came to Just for Success. Hmm. Well, I was going to Brian Stratton College in Albany, and I was in my last semester. And in your last semester, you have to do an internship. So my counselor, my career counselor, wanted me to look nice and presentable, so he had referred me to Dress for Success. Many of the women that we serve here at Dress for Success Albany have never had the opportunity to put on a suit. And many of the women that we've suited have never actually had an opportunity to have someone root them on and cheer them. And Barbara definitely is no exception. This was the suit that they gave me. The jacket. They had given me a white shirt, but I changed the shirt because I wanted to match the shoes. <laughs> and a skirt. And it was really, really nice. I am very thankful for it. I would treasure it all my life. And when it doesn't fit me no longer, <laughs> I would return it back, dry clean, so somebody else could use it someday. Barbara came to us through a local community college in which they happened to call me one day and say, you know, we have, a, we have this woman who is such a go-getter. She has so much potential and she's recently graduated from our paralegal program. And they asked if we would suit her. Of course, we said yes. So we set up an appointment to meet with Barbara. The turn was that Barbara called and she asked to speak to the supervisor directly. And in speaking with Barbara, the first thing that she said to me was that she wanted to forewarn me about what I may see when I meet her for the very first time. Speaking to her on the phone, Barbara's voice was very welcoming. Um, she was very optimistic. She was very excited about the new things that were about to happen to her. However, there was something that was really, really major in her life that was impacting her. And that was the fact that Barbara, for her whole life, has had major issues with hair growth. And not only was it excessive hair growth, but it was on her face. And a new paralegal graduate, her face was going to make or break her career. And she knew this. Because it's hard. People look at you, and, and then some people laugh, and they make comments, like when I was in school. Some days was harder than others because you hear commentaries and I'm an adult. They want to act like little kids. Okay, let them act like little kids. But sometimes it gets to you. And there was days that I would go into the bathroom and just cry before I went to class or just go outside and, sorry to say, but I'll smoke a cigarette <laughs> and just try to walk it off. But there's days that it hurts more than others, and there's days that I could deal with it more than others. Um, you know, what, what brought us to the decision to helping Barbara? It really wasn't a tough decision. Um, we always are trying to do something in the community, community or contribute, and without getting into a long list. Um, we do this on a very regular basis. So when, when I, Susan presented it to me, uh, I think the program is a great program, helping people get back to, you know, kind of a grassroots program, helping people get back to where they can um, feel good about themselves and contribute in society. The way it works is that the laser goes down through the skin and it basically causes the little hair follicle to kind of explode. With the help of Dr. Williams, Barbara has been going through a series of laser hair removal and this is going to be the greatest gift that we can give back to Barbara in helping her accomplish all that she can. I am happy that I have come into Dress Success. <laughs> um, they've been a lot of help. They're, they're really good people, they really are and I think that if more people were to know about them, the better. Because it's not only that they help you, but it's nice to help other people. You know, if, if we can all do a little bit, it adds up. And look what this program is doing. Uh, you know, you're putting all the pieces together. So, you know, you take someone who maybe wasn't employable and 
now have them, you know, feeling comfortable going out and getting a job.